interns, but my first comments are to the leadership of APAPA and how you're really building a great foundation for this follow-on leadership that's so important. And this valley doesn't do enough yet, but I think we're really getting there in helping prepare all of our residents, especially our new residents, especially our residents who are newer to the valley, perhaps even newer to our country, and teaching them how civics work and how our government works and how uh, important it is for all of our residents to be engaged in running our government. Um, and so to the leadership and to the parents who support their children who are doing this, thank you. Because the reason San Ramon, and I think the Valley, is a wonderful place to live is because parents care about their kids. And they take care of their kids. And they watch over them and they hopefully give them good values and uh, I think that's why this is a successful place. Um, Apapa has a rich history over the last three or four years, Andy? Three or four years. Almost four years. Almost four years three or four years of developing um, ethnic leadership here in the valley across the board. And again, I compliment you and your board for what you're doing. For the interns, and how many interns? I think there's six here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, okay, that's right, there's six interns. Uh, ranging in age from those who are leaving middle school entering high, are there any interns who are in going towards college next year? So they're already for college. They're already in college? Yeah. How many are in college already? Four, three in college, interesting. Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Graduated. One middle, Graduated. middle school and? High school. And high school. Which school, high school are you going to? Valley. Forty Valley, okay. Dublin High School and then the college. What are the colleges you're going to? UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley. You have to use your outdoor voice here. <laughs> Cal Poly. Well. Cal Poly, okay. Bucknell University. Bucknell University. Oh, okay. Bucknell? Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. All right. Well, you threw a curve at me there. <laughs> and what was the last college? I graduated from University of Portland. University of? Portland. Portland. Ah. Ever rain up there? <laughs> uh, yeah, over oh, during fall, spring, and then winter snowed, and then, th and then this year snow was really not, was such a nightmare. It just it just stayed long. It's just like yeah, I'm gonna make this even more inconvenient. That's why it's such a wonderful place to live. Um, in terms of making these these opening comments, part of this to apologize is Andy called me this afternoon and asked if I could come by. I said. Yes, but I have some place it came from, some place I have to go, and I apologize. I was curious to ask the interns, to make this more about you, what were your most interesting observation of the time you spent this summer with your public official? What was your most interesting observation? I don't know. Why am I first? <laughs> well, somebody else wants to volunteer to go first. Part of what you did, by the way, is to learn to be a little outspoken, learn to step up and to share your thoughts. Anybody here? Go ahead. Um, I went to a couple events with Neonama, and I, it surprised me how passionate she is about her work. So you were surprised by the passion of elected officials? <laughs> <laughs> not, not mayors. Just no, 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 that's okay. <laughs> but that's, that's what I want to know. I want to know what your observations were, what you walked away from. Looking at how much impact working locally can be and how much work goes into the local work. Yeah, it's sort of like... Watching a duck, he seems real quiet on top and below its furious action, <laughs> paddling away. Yes, yes. And by the way, there's a there's a famous saying that goes back a long term long term in American politics that all politics is local. All politics is local. National level rarely touches your lives day to day as local politics will. Your school board, your city, your fire district, all those things touch you much more impactfully. How your streets are paved, how safe the streets are, all revolve around local stuff. Um, I guess it's not really a new discovery, but how much uh, these staff members have to communicate with each other, and like, I guess like, how much they know about what each other is doing. So they're, they're the importance of communication and how they talk a lot to each other. And by the way, as much as they learned, they didn't start off learning knowing all that. It was it's a progressive. That's why, by the way, to my first point, it's so important to be engaged early and often and to spend time because you just can't walk into doing that at one time. All right, who hasn't spoken up yet? There are a couple here. 
I'm gonna look at you. What did you walk away from with it? Um, I actually went to a shelter this whole year, but from just some great meetings with um, like the Belmont Mission Center and just like I learned how important relationships are between people and groups because um, my project is just about relationships and how that how important that is. So, um, no, that is that's a very insightful thing to say because. Elected officials who spend their spend a lot of time building relationships because when issues do come up between different jurisdictions or within their own council, if you can approach it as not necessarily as much friends as that you have an opportunity to um, appreciate, understand each other, it allows for decision making sometimes not to let, and, and not letting the egos get in the way. So building relationships is really really important. That's a great point to bring up. And then there's somebody else who hasn't said something yet. Who hasn't spoken? Recent graduate, you spoke already? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I learned that people can put their differences aside to cooperate and combine their strengths together for the greater good. Like, Geez, who did you work for then? <laughs> who are you working with? Where were you interning? Oh, uh, I think the Dublin Mayor. The Dublin Mayor. Oh. The Dillon Mayor's office. Okay, that's interesting because when you say that, is the elected mayor in Dublin Democrat or Republican? Or does it matter? I'm not sure. They're nonpartisan. In local politics, you cannot be a Democrat or Republican. Well, you can, but you can't run as a Democrat or Republican. You run as a nonpartisan. And therefore, party labels and the party itself doesn't interfere and can't interfere with what you're doing. And that's why you can have on a council, like exactly our council, you have Phil Alone, who is a Democrat, strong Democrat, and myself, who tends to be like a strong Republican, very much aligned and doing stuff together because we don't worry about the politics. I don't have the Republican Party calling me and say, don't, don't cooperate with him because he's a Democrat, which is really beautiful. But when you go to the state legislature, anybody here, assemblies and senates, raise your hand. That's much more partisan, isn't it? Did you notice that? Many times if Catherine Baker was to introduce something, it might be dead on arrival because they don't want to do anything to help her because she's a Republican as opposed to Democratic control, and vice versa. Republicans won't help Democrats because they don't want to help them. And it's horrid because does it get in the way of good government sometimes? It absolutely does. In fact, I wish that every elected office, everywhere in California was nonpartisan. You could not run as Democrat or Republican. You had to be nonpartisan, and the parties couldn't be involved. And then everybody is up there, hopefully doing their people's business, as opposed to other special interests. So thank you for taking the opportunity this summer to spend your time as interns. And I appreciate this brief moment to say something. And then I apologize, I'm off to somewhere else right now. So thank you. I thank you. Thank you for the that was so special. And uh, oh, by the way, I'm Marsha Balanco. I'm the uh, Tri Valley Chapter Board member and also uh, the Internship uh, Committee Chair. So, welcome again. Uh, so, next, we actually have our president, uh, Mr. Andy Lee. Please come up to say a few words. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming to this event to celebrate the graduation of our interns. And uh, first, uh, I'd like to thank Marsha and uh, also the other part, Eric. Thank you so, so much for putting this together, apply the funding and organize uh, the training, send people to Sacramento, go to Berkeley, and this is help you kind of get connected, get assigned to different office. So let's give a round of applause to Marsha. Really appreciate that. So today is, um, you know, after you primarily work hard this summer, those interns, and uh, now you graduate, I know some of you may continue to work, which is good. I hope, just like the mayor said, um, you can learn something from this. It's not necessary you go to the political world in the future. You can use this skill set and then apply to any uh, field in the future. And I uh, also want to point it out here, I think of Travali, this area is a great example for the whole California or even the whole nation. You know here, 
Catherine Baker and Steve Glazer, Republican, Democrat, they are good friends. <laughs> they are like a good body. So we made a great example. I hope everywhere in the country work like this. It's not a fight each other. I hope in the future, if one of you become a politician, no matter which party, I don't care. Just work together instead of kind of doing the partisan things. <laughs> so uh, I think um, you know in. For this intern program, uh, this is our second year. We hope in uh, with uh, Masha here is our intern chair, kind of running this. I hope the next year you can more coordinate it for the whole region and then to have a much bigger intern program. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Andy. So uh, our committee uh, put a program for our intern graduation, and this is more or less uh, what it is about. And uh, first of all, we want to show the parents. Actually, uh, uh, you might heard of the internship program, but really what it is and how it works. So we want to show you the process, training, and activities. And then we also have our internship uh, committee with mentor and mentees. Um, they uh, uh, also get to know each other. And, uh, the, uh, and after the, uh, the activities uh, uh, presentation, we will have our interns to make the uh, uh, presentation, uh, uh, what they learned, what uh, they got uh, uh, from this experience, and how they're going to apply it in their life. Um, another one is uh, we also uh, want uh, would, would uh, like to have the political office uh, representatives uh, to share their experience uh, with the interns, and there will be a time for um, presentation of certificates uh, of appreciation because uh, hosting our intern mm -hmm. is uh, really a big task. I would think uh, having is a privilege uh, for our intern to be hosted by your office. Um, and so this is uh, uh, pretty much uh, what the ag agenda is all about. Um, so uh, for the parents, uh, if you are not uh, sure what's going on, I uh, start you from the beginning. And uh, it is a long process. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, as uh, our president Andy Lee was saying, uh, this is our second year. Uh, we are still learning. We uh, learned from last year and applied to this year, and we are learning from this year to apply to uh, next year. And uh, applicants are mostly uh, from uh, our local area. We want to make sure uh, about the um, uh, where they live because uh, political offices uh, would like to, uh, to host for uh, the uh, families of uh, constituents who are in the uh, district. And then uh, once the applicants uh, submitted their uh, application form, and we will review the application form, we'll select the um, applicants, and we have to turn down some uh, applicants uh, this year. Uh, uh, mainly, uh, we are very careful uh, where, uh, who, who are we accepting. Uh, we accept U.S. citizens, uh, and, uh, mostly, and then uh, there's also some age. Uh, mo uh, we uh, recognize that most offices, they would prefer their interns to be 18 years and above. So college uh, applicants, we, we are very uh, welcome. Uh, but we also welcome uh, applicants who are very committed and and uh, who might be young, but they are very uh, they have good potentials that we want to nurture them and want them uh, to uh, start out young, and it's okay. And we accept them, and then we start the program uh, uh, in June. Uh, when uh, the school year is uh, completed. We don't want to interfere with uh, the uh, uh, finals uh, or uh, whatever projects they are working on. We, we are very uh, uh, considerate of that. We don't want to uh, uh, give our interns uh, burdens. So um, the next uh, slide. So it looks like a lot of activities, and I'm going to bring it down. 
but mainly the uh, activities that our interns are going through, there's the orientation day, the training day, and then uh, they are invited uh, twice uh, to come to our board meeting. And they are also uh, uh, invited to a uh, internship day in Sacramento, uh, which is sponsored by the uh, California Asian Pacific Islander Legislative Caucus. And we spend a whole day in the Capitol building. And uh, later on, we're going to see some pictures on those. Um, and so during the, um, uh, the couple of months, uh, interns uh, who are qualified to uh, uh, in, uh, uh, I would say qualified to be going to uh, the political offices and they will be uh, invited uh, to, um, to be interviewed by the political offices and get them um, uh, be accepted. And uh, I'm so happy that um, uh, most of the political offices, they accept our interns. And uh, we always send the best. Yeah. And they are well trained too. Um, so there are some activities, uh, just like a national night out, uh, which is uh, what Andy is so passionate about, and some of our board members, uh, that uh, uh, it just happened on August the 1st, and, and interns uh, are invited to participate and volunteers too. And then um, uh, most of the interns uh, have completed the uh, Vision New America's uh, International Leadership uh, Conference at UC Berkeley just uh, um, uh, the weekend of uh, August 4 and 6. So um, I'm, uh, I will be curious to hear our interns uh, what did you get out of this really big international conference because there are more than 200 uh, interns from all over the country, uh, uh, the APAPA interns from different chapters, and then also there are uh, interns uh, from other countries. Um, and then I, uh, on number eight, uh, there are uh, volunteer opportunity for community, and uh, what stood out, um, uh, the Chinese railroad sign unveiling at Ironheart uh, Regional Trail, uh, which is our Tri-Valley Chapters uh, project, uh, led by our president Andy Lee and he was so passionate about this and uh, we had a very good project um, and that happened in, on May 6 and some of the interns participate in that and then uh, the Black Hawk Canberra Museum on June uh, 13 it happened to be Mr. Baring's birthday uh, but at the same time it's the grand opening of the uh, Chinese uh, uh, section of his museum, and we have a really a great party. And um, okay, so uh, so this is kind of like a summary. And now you're going to see uh, um, what's going on. So on the orientation day on June third, uh, we have our interns. Uh, um, it's really getting to know each other. I would say, and also get to know what the program, the expectation of the program, what they are getting into. But I'm sure the interns will tell you uh, that, oh, on that day, uh, as in any other orientation day, uh, they didn't know very much. Uh, uh, but it was a fun event. And then uh, we have uh, a mayor, uh, Bill Clarkson, again, came to welcome uh, our interns. And we have Cindy Chin uh, of, um, uh, assembly member Catherine Baker, uh, she is the district director. Um, and then we also have uh, our some of our board members like uh, Andy Lee, uh, Min, Min Tao, uh, Chin Lin, Chin Lin, raise your hand, um, and then Nancy and myself. Um, uh, Chin Lin really did a very good uh, presentation on the history of Chinese Americans. <laughs> I, I myself, I learned so much uh, from him. He's so passionate that you devote your time uh, uh, to educate our, our interns uh, on the orientation day. Uh, so they get to know each other. And um, so uh, next slide. So on training day, uh, we 
I'm very fortunate uh, to have uh, Teresa, uh, the District uh, Director of uh, State Senator Steve Glaser's office. And thank you for hosting our intern uh, this year and also from last year. And um, I'm, I would like to hear what you have to say later on. Um, and then we also have um, uh, uh, Chenevi, uh, the Chief of Staff of Fiona Ma, uh, the Board of Equalization. And Fiona accepted actually four of our uh, interns to go to San Francisco. And, and, um, and Fiona was saying, oh, uh, we usually accept only two, but if you have more than two, okay, you know. So, and, and uh, Ted and, and Alicia and then uh, Timothy, and, um, uh, they are, um, well, later on, maybe you can share about your experience there. Uh, we also have um, uh, the Dublin uh, mayor, and then I, uh, I, I noticed I, mi I miss uh, Supervisor Candace Anderson. <coughs> she gave a really great uh, presentation. Um, I mean, it is just like so much learning, but she make it uh, so easy for us to learn. And, uh, and then other, uh, and the mayor of uh, Dublin uh, was there too. And um, he actually invited two of our young uh, uh, applicants, uh, who are uh, uh, Adora and Eric, uh, to do projects uh, for him, Sister City uh, project. And uh, and he mentioned that, oh, he doesn't mind if they are uh, young, because they are very good uh, students. Uh, uh, why not put them uh, in good projects? And and um, and he's pretty happy with that. Oh, by the way, uh, a, a Dublin mayor just uh, arrived in San Francisco airport, and according to Lily, um, uh, the mentor of, uh, for Adora and Eric, um, he is trying his best to be here. Um, so we also, um, have um, Marianne, who is uh, with Chevron, who is our sponsor, and who share about her challenges being Asian American women and how uh, she uh, 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 constantly uh, breaks the glass ceiling. So um, he, he's with family, friends, and and uh, today uh, he say, well, he will come here with his. Uh, uh, family friends, uh, uh, they are coming from Kamel, so uh, so hopefully they will be here. So we also have other uh, m uh, trainers, uh, Min, uh, they are mentors, uh, Min Douglas, uh, Tiffany, Nancy, myself, and uh, Doris. Doris. Doris is one of the parents uh, who um, Every time when there are events, she's always there. She's helping, <coughs> she's so committed to the success of our program. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Doris. Yes, okay. So on July 11th, uh, we have this Sacramento Internship Day, and you can see our smiling uh, interns. Um, and what they uh, did was uh, uh, to learn from the from the real people, right? The the real people re means uh, the le legislators uh, from the from the Capitol. And um, we visit the Capitol building. We listen uh, to uh, visitors who uh, the, the leaders who came to our uh, meeting. Um, and, and uh, this is a mock exercise for uh, the interns. If you notice, uh, Amanda and uh, Alicia, they are, they are on both ends of, um, uh, what, were you, what was the role that you were mocking uh, on that day? Uh, you were the yes. assembly uh, person. Was commissioner. You couldn't smoke marijuana while driving. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it was fun, isn't it? That uh, you were sitting on the real chairs. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's keep going. And then um, the weekend of August 4 and 6, uh, we have uh, the interns uh, uh, together with 200 other uh, interns from all over the world. And they were at UC Berkeley and they gone through three days of very intensive uh, training. And uh, you notice uh, there's uh, Mr. C.C. Yin who is the, and his wife Regina Yin, they, uh, they are the uh, co-founder of APAPA. Uh, which is, um, uh, what, is it about 16 years for the original, yeah, right? Yeah. 16 years. 16. Um, and then we have pre presentation, oh, Eric was there, Eric Yen, and then Xin uh, Yi, uh, you were there, and then I have more pictures, and, and uh, they did a very good job, really excellent job. Um, so, after that, uh, this is really a special tr uh, 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 treat for us uh, and, and the interns. We went to a Papa headquarters, which is about 15 minutes away in Sacramento. And if you notice, uh, that's the building of a Papa's uh, headquarters, and this is the inside of it. And um, the Mr. C.C. Yin owns a uh, how many McDonald's? Like 20 something or 30? 30 something McDonald's. So we got a treat of uh, McDonald's <laughs> for the interns. <laughs> and, and the interns uh, really enjoy it and uh, also get to know the staff and, uh, um, and, and um, network with them. And there are some, uh, there's a lot of volunteer uh, opportunities. Uh, so uh, I uh, must say, uh, our young intern, Mr. Uh, Eric Yen, you really are the model of uh, our intern program. Because you attend every event, you volunteer in every event. And uh, thank you very much for uh, taking it so so um, something that came in my mind is seriously, but then I think it's uh, this and uh, passionately. I think that that's the word. And thank you for being a model. Um, so the, uh, that's the one, Sinyi, uh, our intern, uh, uh, with another intern was with uh, assembly uh, women, uh, Catherine Baker, and then uh, this is the. A sign unveiling um, on May 6th uh, with some of our interns. So Eric was there, and then who else? I think a, a few others interns were there uh, volunteering. So our program is a, a lot to do with um, ex uh, giving our intern the opportunity to experience. It is not just uh, academia is not uh, knowledge, but rather the opportunity to give them the occasion uh, to be with um, uh, uh, the training, whether it's big conference or small meetings. Uh, let them learn uh, 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 by themselves and, and, and not being told, because uh, leadership is really self-generated. Um, okay, so Oh, yes, Megan, thank you. So um, that's this August 1st opportunity that some of our uh, board members uh, were invited to have a face-to-face -face office meeting with uh, con uh, our congressman, uh, uh, Mark Dissone, uh, and Alicia uh, has the opportunity to come with us. And uh, we have 30 minutes uh, with uh, congressmen. I mean, this is unheard of. Uh, it's a lot of time together, and uh, we present um, our uh, papa a, uh, a gift set of uh, a ball pen and a key, uh, a keychain. Um, and what we discussed uh, in this meeting, uh, 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 mostly about young people. Uh, about the youth leadership program 
And then the Young Professional Empowerment Program, we are talking about a summit. Uh, 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 the congressman would like to see a partnership. There's a partnership. Um, uh, hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. So glad that you are here. This is the Assembly uh, Women, Catherine Baker is here. So we were talking about um, having a meeting with Congressman Marty and uh, we focus on positive things. We, po uh, we uh, focus on having our young uh, people, young professionals uh, um, uh, to be empowered, uh, to keep on training and have them uh, even at an, um, uh, a young age. Uh, nothing. It's really nothing to do with the age. Um, and have them be uh, uh, experienced, uh, the training and development, and see what they can apply in their life. So, um, so um, this is a, a glimpse of uh, what is going to happen. And uh, maybe our president, Andy Lee, didn't might not know this, but this is something. This is the first year out of the inspiration. You know, uh, Adora Gwen. She just graduated from middle school, and uh, she applied. She was the first one to apply. It came in March 24, the first one. And Andy and I was talking about, oh, 14 years old. It doesn't. Um, she's too young. Uh, but I was saying, looking at Adora's resume and talking to her, and I say, I'm not going to let the age uh, be an obstacle to her path. Because I wouldn't uh, want her to think that her age, whether it's too young or, uh, or something else, will interfere her, uh, her passion. And so I created this youth leadership program, and Adora went to all of the internal training. Internal training means uh, Papa Tri Valley. We have inter uh, like the orientation day, the training day, and the volunteer events. Um, and then we also sent Adora to. Toastmaster International. There is a summer youth leadership program uh, for about 12 weeks, right? And I'm so proud of you, Adora. Adora was elected as the president of uh, this club, this youth club. And, and you are going to share about this. OK. But let me finish this. So um, our uh, young leader, uh, participate in most of the internal training, but they will not uh, intern in political offices because they are not supposed to, unless approved. So Dublin mayor was saying, okay, uh, we would like, uh, I, he uh, doesn't mind uh, Adora being, uh, she's going to be a freshman in high school. Uh, so they are working on sister city projects uh, together with Eric, Eric Yan. Um, and then, um, and then uh, they cannot go to the college uh, student uh, conf uh, leadership program either because uh, um, uh, the other organizations are very mindful of. Okay, so that's continuous growth of this program. And so, Adora, uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, we would like to hear what you say. Adora Wen, and I'm really proud to be standing here as not an official intern yet, um, but as a youth leader, just saying that makes my crippling self-esteem empowered. Yeah. <laughs> um, so one of the things I did was um, Toastmasters, as you know, it's part of the youth leadership program, and um, Toastmasters is this amazing program where um, you learn to spread jam evenly on toast. 
Um, it's really changed my life. And no, I'm just kidding. Um, Toastmasters is this. <laughs> um, you really le learn to express yourself fully um, through speech. And my talks range from pineapple and pizza to my obsession with Hamilton to um, my leg like, getting dislocated. So <laughs> it's it's been amazing, like just expressing yourself through speech. And I really want I really appreciate it for such a the program. Yeah. Um, also. Um, this week is actually our last Toastmaster meeting, and it's also a speech contest. So I'm really looking forward to that um, because there's going to be food there. So, <laughs> um, so another thing I did with a papa was during the summer, um, I actually met with the double mayor, Mr. David Hobart, who is not here yet, um, for a few times, and we're working on this sister city project um, in China with fellow intern, Eric. Um, and it's really cool because along with doing that project, you also get to pursue a project that you want to do. Um, and I really want to do a project that I want to see happen for a really long time. And now it's really cool to just get out there and make that project happen. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. And my actually, my, um, my actual internship is throughout the school year, so um, that's going to be amazing too. And to think of all the learning I've done in this a Papa journey is just astounding. Um, I mean, my mission in the beginning of the a Papa journey I've been through is just to get out there, step out of my comfort zone, and just experience the things that I didn't experience. So um, I did that. And thank you so much, Ms. Marsha, Mr. Andy, Mr. Vin, Ms. Lily, Ms. Sarah, um, Ms. Nancy. Thank you all. Thank you, interns. Um, thank you, everyone, for supporting us and really helping us grow in this. Um, I really appreciate it, and I look forward to working with you all in the soon future. So thank you. actually have a certificate of completion for you uh, that you are our first graduate uh, of the 2017 Summer Youth Leadership Program Tri-Valley Chapter in, uh, for your outstanding leadership uh, 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 training, volunteer, and community services. And we are so proud of you and uh, we would like you to continue being uh, uh, contact with us and continue the projects. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, we have been waiting for this and we have our uh, summer intern, six of them except Timothy is not feeling well. So we have five uh, interns who are going to give a couple of, um, uh, give a, a presentation. Uh, so we start with Alicia. Alicia. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia. Um, I interned this summer with uh, Board of Equalization member Fiona Ma. Um, that was, a really great experience for me. Uh, I think the APAPA events helped um, to prepare me for my internship, but more than anything, more than even meeting Fiona herself, the relationships that you cultivate when you're within the internship itself with other interns, with the staffers, um, has been so incredible just to see people who are behind the scenes in politics who put in the work but don't get their names recognized. Um, and that was an experience for me. Uh, other than that, um, I got to go to a couple of events, got to eat some really good food that <laughs> politicians are catered for. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. And then, Amanda, share about your internship experience. Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. I intern at Senator Steve Glazer's office this summer. Um, first I want to talk about a papa. I said at the beginning of the summer something I wanted to gain was to be able to interact with people I wouldn't otherwise and I think 
I was very successful in doing that. At the international conference, I met people from across the state and students from China and Taiwan, and that was a really valuable experience. I don't think I'm going to forget that conference because I learned a lot about how people from other countries, like their learning processes and the questions they asked me about the lifestyle here, they were just things I don't think twice about, so it put a new perspective. Um, also, we did a lot of networking. Uh, Alicia would have to push me sometimes to go talk to the adults when I got nervous. <laughs> but I did it, we did it together, and we pushed each other, and that was a really cool part of the whole conference and all the other events. Um, in the office, like I said, with the mayor, you learn the impact of acting locally. <coughs> you learn the impact of acting locally and even with just the standard looking at the constituent emails and all the faxes, you can see what the community cares about and what problems are arising in the community that you don't consider and just what the constituents care about. And also there were the other aspects of, we joke about the other duties not assigned, but those were fun. We would have, we at the 4th of July parade, we just hung up frames and we got to meet a lot of these people and it didn't always feel like work, so that was, that was a cool experience too. Um, and also, it's, I, um, it's not part of it, like people would ask me, oh, is this career related because I'm in STEM? But it wasn't, but that was still a really valuable experience and worthwhile because I just got exposed to a whole new sector that I wouldn't, I don't get the opportunity to work with at school or in my academics. So thank you to all the Papa staff and Teresa and everyone at the Senator's office and all the interns. So. and share about your experience with our intern and you will present this. <laughs> well, thank you. That was very nice, Amanda. And I do love the um, experience you get with throughout the whole APAPA program, being able to go and meet with the and work with the other interns. We had um, 10 interns this summer in Senator Glazer's office. One APAPA intern, Amanda, and Amanda, as she said, got to do a lot of um, inputting constituent input, um, working with us when we were getting ready for the 4th of July and our 4th of July open house. We had just moved into our office in March, and so Amanda got to help us put together frames and hang things on the wall the other duties as assigned. Um, when we had dinners or um, uh, food, as you were saying, that you got to have all that great food that was catered, we actually had a lot of barbecues, but we did it all the work ourselves this summer, right? <laughs> so we had um, a lot of fun on that. But one thing... Um, that Amanda didn't mention, and in terms of that growth, we had all of the interns do legislative proposals, if they wanted to, and we started it earlier this year, and we had them look through some that constituents had submitted, and every single one of the interns actually came up with their own ideas. And so today, um, our legislative staff came from the Capitol, and all of the interns, Amanda, um, spoke with our legislative director, and. Um, sold her proposal, sold her uh, concept on her uh, teacher dismissal and a, a sort of a hard subject, not the third rail, but a hard subject to approach and did a great job. She interviewed a superintendent, a local superintendent, um, and I think got a lot of growth out of that in terms of that reaching out. And so as Amanda said, she had a goal at the beginning to um, work with different people than she would normally be working with in her engineering and um, other background, her other academics. And um, I know that Senator Glaze, oh, forgot, we went to the Capitol one week after a papa took them to the Capitol and so she knew everything she knew all the corridors and she knew everywhere to go but Senator Glazer um, wanted me to share that um, we grow from the experience of having the interns with us and are very proud that this is our second year with um, a papa interns and are very happy to um, take interns in, as um, young if you will as sophomores so Adora we look forward to having you in the office sometime in the future, but Amanda, thank you very much, and it was a blessing to get to know you, and I look forward to watching you grow. Oh. 
on behalf of <laughs> this is a certificate <laughs> to the office of Steve Glazer from a papa. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, if you notice, we um, um, would like the, uh, our intern to be the one to do the work. Uh, so this is part of the uh, training too. So uh, Amanda, maybe uh, next time you will read out, you know, what, what is a, a, a certificate of appreciation. Um, yeah, you, you, you will get that. Okay. And now everybody else gets to know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sing ye. Yay. Oh, okay, so like sitting there doesn't look like there are that many people, but <laughs> um, anyway, so my name is Sinyi, and this summer I interned at Assemblywoman Catherine Baker's office. Um, so honestly, I learned a lot. Uh, I think if I listed the things, they would seem kind of trivial. Like, uh, one of the things I learned is that. <laughs> The Bay East Association of Realtors gives out scholarships. Like, if I say that, that probably doesn't mean anything to you. But to me, it just means like, there are more opportunities to find, I guess, scholarships and also places to work out there that I just don't know about yet. Um, and then, so I won't list any more of those, but two of my favorite things I learned um, were, first of all, I realized my Microsoft Office skills are not as were not as good as I thought they were. <laughs> this summer, I learned a lot of new tricks and I guess about functions I didn't even know existed. Um, so basically, I was wrong before, and the moral of that story is there's always something you don't know, and there's always more to learn. Um, and then the other thing that I really enjoyed uh, about the office is I realized that even in an office setting, it's possible to be close to your colleagues and just have fun. Um, so while I was there, we celebrated a baby shower and two birthdays in the office. Shout out to Cindy for her amazing decorating and event planning skills. Um, so I thought that was really cool and I really want to thank um, Catherine, Cindy, and uh, the rest of the staff members who aren't here as well as all of um, the APAPA board members for giving me this opportunity. I prepared a lot of certificates in the yeah. <laughs> um, On behalf of APAPA, we would like to express our sincere gratitude and deep appreciation for your hard work, service, and commitment to our program, or organization, sorry. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, APAPA. So I'm going to take the mic from you. Get ready. Okay. Cindy's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, I think, my our third year having a Papa interns. Uh, we try to hold at least one spot available in our office. We're always growing. Um, and we were very privileged to have Cindy join us this summer. And she's being very modest. She did grow and learn a lot, not only in uh, which is part of the, the internship program is to learn uh, an office environment, working in a professional environment. And it may seem trivial to pick up the phone and learn a greeting on the phone that you give consistently every time that I know when I called, I was so proud. Every time she answered the phone represented our office so well. And also to deal with all the questions and queries from constituents all over the district that she was the first point of contact they had. And some of them, when they call your assembly member's office, are happy. 
and some of them are not. By the time they've come to your office, they are, they've had a frustration in their life and they're turning to you for help or a way to express it. And we were very fortunate to see Sinyi really grow in the ability to communicate with constituents. Um, and also to really fit in with our team, which is, which is very friendly. We do have a lot of parties and good food. Um, it's an environment that we hope that interns who come to our office see early in their work life experience that that is an office you want to be a part of and how you can create that and, and take that vibe and that, that feeling about office environment and interacting with one another with professionalism but also hopefully a human touch to the next jobs. So we try to set a model of behavior. Sometimes that includes a lot of potato chips and cupcakes and ice cream and uh, sometimes just candy out and about. Um, Sydney was able to join us not just in our office, which is very important to learn that environment, to learn um, how to work with one another and constituents and issues that arise. But she was wonderful and such a trooper to come out to our first Wednesday's booth that we had in Pleasanton, where we have a booth in the heat, uh, and there was a pooch parade, so everyone had a dog, and uh, constituents from all over the community would come up to the booth, and she did a wonderful job of getting to speak to complete strangers about the issues of the day, and to articulate her thoughts and be very welcoming, and even approach them with many of the um, goodies that we want to be sure to, uh, constituents know are resources for them. Uh, she really was not shy and was just a wonderful representative of the office and hope takes that confidence with her into other jobs. Also when our local mayors have their once a week lunch or morning program, uh, she was again a trooper to come join me, get out of the office and go have lunch with the mayor and uh, have it sprung on her at the last minute as often happens in an office environment. New things happen and got a chance to meet with many of the leaders from around the San Ramon Valley who meet once a week and to hear the issues they talk about and to engage in that conversation. I was proud to have her sitting with me and um, we were both scrunching down a salad. It was terrific and just those are a part of what we've really seen her grow and do this summer. So um, I am grateful that she was a part of our office and we're going to miss her because uh, not only because we really come to rely on our interns and the way they grow, but they become a part of our office um, in a very short period of time, to their credit. And so Papa's done a wonderful job connecting us with Sinyi, and I do have a certificate to present to you. I'm sure you've never seen these certificates before. We also have a, 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 a flag that has flown over the Capitol. That you don't know this yet, but it's going to be uh, shipped to you because we're going to have it. Oh, we like to have it flown over the Capitol when we've actually been in session, the Capitol in Sacramento. That you'll be able to take with you and fly proudly for the rest of your career. Um, the last point of reference that we know Sinyi was a big part of is you learn in an office and working with electeds is that when people call, it's not partisan. The first, you never ask, are you a Democrat or a Republican? Because it, it's how can I help you? It's the first thing that she said every time on the phone. And we're really proud that she learned to be a part of that service. So thank you, Sinyi. You did a fantastic job. Congratulations. That's for you. Oh, we're going. There we go. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. We'll talk later. Yes. Um, now, uh, we have um, Eric. Eric and Ted, you are next. And Timothy is not well, so he didn't come today. How about Eric? Come and share with us what you got. So if you don't know me already, I'm Eric, and I just wanted to share my experience at the PAPA internship program. So it was a very eye-opening experience, and I learned a lot of new things there. For example, I learned how in a group you can um, combine people's strengths together to make a better team. and. For example, when I went to the Berkeley program, I actually stayed in touch with this person after the program was over. He's now back at Taiwan, I think, but he still emails me sometimes. So you can really bond with people in a few days. In, in addition, I also went to the Sacramento legislative caucus program 
and I was able to participate in a mock meeting, and that was really cool. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I would like you to bring this certificate of appreciation to the mayor of Dublin for hosting, uh, for giving you uh, a project. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. Hi. Hi. Uh, good evening. So despite what the slideshow says, I like to be called Ted. So, uh, the past months working with the BOE, the Board of Equalization, has been good so far. It's great to learn a lot about the inside, the inside of the political office. Not House of Cards levels, but at, but at least a friendly atmosphere. I got to meet a bunch of nice people. Say BOE members have their own quirks, their own personality, and it's nice to be part of like a few events like the. Uh, Naturalization ceremony that happened around Oakland. It was a. It seemed like a pretty beautiful time, and the leadership conference at University, uh, University of California of California Berkeley. And so it's been an interesting experience so far. What I enjoyed most about the BOE was the people I get to interact with. Everyone has a. Night. has a nice like bipartisan say non non biased kind of view to for effective communication and I just want to thank Marsha the BOE staff and the other interns for creating a tolerable and good time <laughs> while I'm in San Francisco thank you you to bring it back to the ball of equalization and, uh, uh, and present it to uh, the people who have been mentoring you and helping you with your internship. Okay, yeah. thank you. And that's the certificate of appreciation for uh, BOE and Fiona Ma, a long time friend. Okay, so uh, next I would like uh, Assembly Women Catherine Baker to present to, uh, this certificate of completion to our interns. All right. Uh, first, uh, Alicia, and after you receive it, can you stand here so that we can take a group, a group picture together? All right, Alicia, please come join us. Congratulations for outstanding leadership training, volunteer services, and political office internship. On behalf of APAPA, we would like to express our sincere gratitude and deep appreciation for your hard work, which I know you did, service, I know you did, and commitment to APAPA and your internship. Congratulations, and well done. Good job. Amanda. All right, wonderful to hear from Amanda. It says the same thing. <laughs> it's also signed by CCN, who's been a wonderful um, leader and pioneer and really growing a papa all throughout the country. Andy Lee and Marsha. And so I want to congratulate you as well. I enjoyed hearing about your internship, and it was really good. I will say, um, Senator Blazer's office, right? Yes. A very fun office that has a foosball. I, we just turned to each other and said, we forgot to mention Yeah, I got to mention foosball. Uh, good office to work with, and I know that you got an example of how people really serve the district well. So congratulating you for that. Thank you. Favorites, we get to play favorites. Uh, we've just been really proud of you. I know that Cindy, our district director, uh, has enjoyed, and everyone in our office has enjoyed working with you. So we congratulate you on completion of the internship program. You're going to stay in touch with us and always let us know where you're landing as you grow throughout your, your future. Congratulations. And Eric, Eric, come on up, Eric. I think you're taller than I am. But that's okay. Um, just a wonderful opportunity. I live in Dublin, so I am very grateful that you were able to come and uh, 
be part of our mayor and our city and learn about our local government. And I want to congratulate you for completing what I know is a very successful internship. Congratulations. Good job. Ted. And I'm calling you Ted for it's Ted. Yeah, uh, we congratulate you for your internship with the BOE and um, no, you did not mention good food. I will point that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they agree. Come join me. Um, that sounds like a benefit. That's right. That sounds so shameful. And and really, uh, you see, city, state, state offices, assembly, senate, and uh, and the BOE. These are really great opportunities for all of you. And I just congratulate you, Ted, and your colleagues on completing these internships uh, successfully. They're challenging, and you did a good job. Well done. Thank you. Uh, may I invite uh, Megan from Congressman Matisonier's office uh, to present some certificates. And Teresa, can you also come up to be together? Hello. Okay, not too loud. My name is Megan Yanzi. I am the new staff assistant for the office of Congressman Mark Desonier, so I'm new. It's been very fun. I'm really happy to be here. Um, unfortunately, the congressman was unable to attend today, so I was going to read a letter from the office before I present the certificates. And the letter reads, Dear friends, while I regret